What's going on guys? It's Jordan back today with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna take a quick look at Algorand and see what it's doing on the short-term and long-term timeframe charts. And also look at that there is bearish things going on and there is bullish things going on. So we're gonna take a look at that, both of those scenarios in this video. If that sounds good to you, make sure you stay tuned for the entire video. Now let's jump right on in to the video. As we jump right on in to the daily timeframe chart for Algorand, as you guys can see, we are forming a very similar pattern which we did last consolidation range, right? So I have these two head and shoulders patterns charted here for you guys. You can see back here in this consolidation range from about the uh, you know September 2019 um, to about March of 2020. Hate that month. Hope you guys too as well because it ruined the entire world. But as you guys can see, we th these patterns are extremely similar, right? So look at this purple line here, and look at this purple line here. Look at the price action above each one, and tell me that it doesn't not look almost pretty much exactly the same to you guys, right? So in this one here, we've got one, two, three, four peaks. Same thing here, one, two, three, four peaks, right? Each time where we retested this purple line each time, right? Retest it here, retest it here. And then we came up and formed a um, nice impulse, right? Great impulse. We like to see these impulses. But on the top of it, we did form this head and shoulders pattern, which did bring us down. Now, I think we went this low because of the craziness that happened during this month in particular um, in the beginning of March, right? I don't think we would have broken this purple line if what happened in March didn't happen, right? You guys know what's going on in the world. I'm not going to say it in the video. You guys know what's happening. So... I think um, we got to kind of take this with a grain of salt. And this is why, yes, we are forming a head and shoulders pattern here. But no, do I think it's going to break this purple line. I don't see us breaking this purple line. We definitely could because these two fractals are playing out very, very similarly. But there's a couple key differences in the most recent one that we're in right now that we're going to look at later in this video. But I just wanted to point this fractal out to you guys. Um, and see that, you know, definitely a bearish um, capitulation is definitely possible, um, but I don't think it's very likely, right? So we're going to jump on into the four hour chart, and um, oh, this is the daily chart as well. But um, it also, pretty much, this is just another bearish um, kind of pattern that I'm seeing. Uh, we could be forming just this, uh, this bear flag um, or of this upward rising channel um, where we got multiple touches on the top here. Um, bearing a little little impulse above it, but got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven touches on the top of this, and we've gotten one, two, and three touches so far on the bottom of this. Well, four pretty much. So this is kind of a confirmed channel for me. And until we break out of this channel, I don't see much happening here. Um, what I do see happening in the short term is maybe us coming down to retest this purple line again, and then um, you know maybe bouncing around in here for a little bit before pumping higher and retesting the top of this. It's kind of what I see happening, um, at least for the rest of this year. I don't see any craziness happening. Uh, I mean, going for where we are right now, 30 cents up to about a dollar and retesting this is a 3X, so it actually is pretty much craziness, but I'm talking about absolutely massive pumps. I think the rest of this year is going to be kind of quiet until like the elections and everything that's kind of happening in the world um, kind of subsides. But Nonetheless, this is what I'm seeing in more of the medium term time frame um, is we're just kind of in this rising channel or bear flag, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's definitely a possibility like we saw in this that we do just like we did here and capitulate, um, end up breaking this and continue downwards, maybe retesting this local low here. Um, that's definitely a possibility, but not something I think is going to be very likely, like I said, guys. So we're going to jump on into the fourth uh, if I can count, right, that was only two charts, right? The third chart that I want to look at today, not fourth, that is this chart for Algorand. And that's just kind of showing the absolute crazy buying pressure that we did get on this um, kind of on this dump here, right? So this is on the daily chart. And look how crazy this wick was, right? This just shows that we had such crazy buying pressure um, where exactly we should have been. So we had major, major um, support, right, on this if i can get this correctly here guys right on this um support level here as you guys can see this is such a major area we've gotten resistance and support on this so many times throughout the history of algorand hasn't been that long for this coin but you guys get what i'm saying here it's just been such a major area 
and the buying pressure below this was absolutely insane, right? So we look at this alone, right? This buying pressure. So when we get when we uh, dump down here, basically what happened is we opened the day here. We got a massive dump and then we got a massive buy straight back up. So that shows that there's crazy amount of buying pressure underneath this support and why I don't think we're actually going to be going that much lower just because, you know, this candle, right? Or this wick, right? The wick alone, not even counting the whole candle is about 26%. That's crazy. We don't see even see 26% candles that often, never mind 20% wicks. And if we just count the candle as well, Overall, that was a 37% buying day, which just shows that there's such crazy amount of buying pressure at these low levels and why I as well have been buying algo, even though I do think there's a chance that we go lower, I don't think we're gonna get too many buying opportunities like we do. If we do go lower, they're gonna get bought up really crazy, just like we saw here. And this is like a trend reversing buying pressure right here, right? This is, this is something that's could propel us to go way higher, right? So. Take advantage of these low prices. I think anything really below, um, you know, this line here we're gonna look at next. Uh, anything really below this top uh, green line, I think, is a still a great gap, great buy. I see us kind of in the short term, kind of bouncing around in, in here for a little bit. Like I said, probably about to the end of the year before we end up do breaking it and continuing up higher, right? So, um, you know, just look out for that. And uh, like I said, this buying pressure that we saw here was still absolutely insane. And I don't think that's something that you guys should just shrug your shoulders at. I think you should just, that should show you that people don't want the price to go lower. They, they wanna accumulate at these prices. And this is something that we have to take advantage of while we still have the time because yes, you could have time to buy in here, but will you? You're probably not going to because you're probably gonna be like, oh, this coin's boring. This coin's not doing anything. I'm gonna hop in something that's already pumping. You're gonna FOMO into something else instead of buying something that's at one of its lowest points. And then this thing's absolutely just gonna take off out of nowhere, right? And you guys are gonna be left behind and buying at $2 when you could have bought eight times more as many coins down here in the 30 cents range. So that's what I wanted to pretty much talk about for Algorand today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm gonna go enjoy my Saturday. Hope you guys do as well. Do one thing that's gonna improve your life today. Meet someone new, um, go outside, go even take a walk, go get a gym membership. Um, I'm wearing the hoodie today because it is pretty cold of where I live for like the first time this year. Um, well, not this year, but since the summertime, it's kind of depressing because I love the summer. I'm a huge summer guy, um, but it is about 40 degrees today and I don't like that. So um, if you guys see me wearing a hoodie, that means it's cold and that means I'm not a very happy person because I'm a huge outdoors person. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Don't stare at the charts all day. It's not going to change the price. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.